to you guys. All right, watch the Rebels play. That's special. It's probably the best game I've ever seen you run the football tonight. I know you told me last week against Catholic that you were rusty. How much did you want to come out tonight and prove your worth in front of all these people? Uh, it was a statement game, you know. Uh, we, we, we had to play with a chip on our shoulder. Oakland's a great team, and I'm just happy my team came out with the win. You know, a lot of people started to learn about you because you did get that offer from Tennessee. Do you feel like you kind of proved yourself tonight? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, there's still a lot of work to do. You know, I, I want to be better every single day. But it, it was a good team win, so, you know, I'm, I'm proud of my teammates. You guys are up there 14 nothing at the half. They come up and they, they score right off the bat. I mean, y'all probably knew they are going to get back in this game, didn't you? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, Oakland's a great team. They have a great strategy. And, you know, we knew they were going to come out strong. So. What did you see on defense that you knew you were going to have to maybe run harder, cut quicker, whatever, out of their defense? I mean, there's a lot of big players on that team. Uh, yeah, they, they had a great D-line. Their D-line was really good, so I knew I had to find the hole, make cuts, and just make cuts. How do y'all build on this? Last year was a game that you lost. Y'all built on it that way. How do you build on it now that you win? Uh, we just keep pressing forward every single day, just get better. This is a great win, but we still can play better, so we're just going to get better every day starting with that. How important was it for this team mentally to come back when y'all got down? Uh, I mean, it was a lot. You know, our team, we're just now starting to click. You know, we're finally playing like Miracle. So that, that's really all that matters. I mean, we came out with the win. That's a good team. I mean, uh, I had all the trust in him and getting it in the end zone. and. At that point, I was just trying not to mess it up. I just, you know, <laughs> let one of our kids make a play. Derek, how important was it for your guys, confidence-wise, uh, mentally going forward in the season, to rally from that, <laughs> that that deficit right there in the fourth quarter? Well, first of all, I think our kids, confidence-wise, is huge, and you hit on it right there. Because I don't think many people gave us a chance this week. I think there's a lot of, a lot of, you know, even at our own school, you know, talking about how great Oakland is, and they're so good, and it's so true. But I think we're a good football team too, you know, and I think we showed that tonight. And games like tonight can go either way, you know, when it comes down to you know mistakes at the end and executing at the end, and so. Uh, you know, we did that in spots. But I think it was a huge confidence boost. You get down, our kids could have mailed it in, but they were resilient and, and made plays. How much did familiarity come into play tonight with y'all facing Oakland so many times the last three or four years? To, they're not going to really roll out a bag of tricks on their offense. It, it, it definitely plays a role, I think, for both sides. You know, and, and you almost have to mix it up. You have to be different because there's too many good coaches on that staff. They'll figure you out, you mm -hmm. know. And, and so, uh, yeah, familiarity plays a huge role in, in, in this rivalry, just like it does for a Maryville Alcoa and games like that. So, um, you know, I, I just think, uh, I think, you know, the way you plan your game can dictate a lot of, the, you know, what happens Friday night. Last thing, um, T. Hodge, I wasn't really sure that he was going to be a college running back. He looked the part tonight. Yeah, I mean, he's a stud. That was my question. A, he's a, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a great question. Yeah. He, he's a stud. Yeah. And, and and I think that T is his best in the second half because he's so hard to tackle. Mm -hmm. And I think he can wear defenses out some. You know, you, it really, you really have to rally. I think T gets behind his pad so well, you know, and, and, and kind of pounds on you a little bit. Mm -hmm. Haiti was cramping there at the end, but Bryson came in and, and, and finished it up for us. And so couldn't be happier for Bryson and happy for our kids.